My name is Fred Kohler and I'm a member of the SolidWorks training team. In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between complex and simple sketches and why the one sketch, one feature approach to modeling is so valuable. Let's get started. What is a complex sketch? A complex sketch generally contains a lot of sketch geometry, often multiple close contours, to combine a boss with multiple cuts in a single sketch. The sketch may be used to create one feature, as it is in these examples, but it can also be shared to create multiple features. Due to the complexity, flexibility is limited, the sketch can be difficult to edit and understand, and the design intent may not be clear. Now here are the dimensions that fully define them. And lastly, let's turn on the display of the relations. The sketches are even more crowded and difficult to understand. On the other hand, simple sketches, or the one sketch, one feature approach, uses a single, clear, fully defined, simple sketch to define each feature. Typically, the sketch is a single closed contour, but some may include multiple closed contours, which can still be simple. For example, a couple circles as holes can still be a simple sketch. They may also include sketch fillets and chamfers in cases where they are integral to creating the shape rather than just cosmetic. If you feel that a single sketch is still too complex, like this base feature, it can be broken down further into smaller, simpler sketches. So why is it better to use simple sketches? Here are some positives. You break your part down logically into small chunks, so each sketch uses minimal geometry, sometimes just a single circle or rectangle. These smaller chunks simplify design changes in editing when warnings and errors appear by allowing you to focus on the problem area. It also allows you to leverage feature manager design tree techniques like renaming, rollback, and reorder. Unlike the complex sketch, the simplified sketch provides a clear view of the relations, dimensions, and construction geometry used, and from that, the design intent. Using multiple features also allows you to use configurations to suppress and unsuppress features. It can be used to make variations, or a simplified configuration, used in an assembly or a drawing. Downstream applications like drawings leverage the effects of the single sketch with model items and features. There are some negative aspects, but not many. Simple sketches require more features, and that requires more steps. The feature manager design tree is longer. Very long trees may require some management, such as adding folders or favorites. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, Click the link in the description below to access more great content.